Hi, I'm Tom. I'm Ben. And we're the Wine Guys, and we're here at the Farmer's Market in St. Helena. This is a really cool tradition, Ben. Every Friday through the mm -hmm. summer, all these artists and uh, purveyors you see behind me yep. get together. We have this really neat Farmer's Market. And uh, in fact, our Gerardo, our chef, comes yep. down here and gets some of his produce uh, that we use in our kitchens uh, that we sell at the winery. And then our Harvest Ball chef is going to be doing right. a, a thing down here on Friday. Um, this is Harvest Ball week in September 25th. As part of that, we have a cooking school yep. at the CIA. And part of the class is coming down here and picking out produce and then bringing that back to the school and using some of the produce here from the farmer's market. That's awesome. It's going to be a great time. And what else are they doing behind oh, us well, here? They're playing bocce ball. And you know, I'm relatively new to the sport. I know you've been doing it for over 20 years. Uh, we have a fantastic team. We're not the best team in the world, but we have a lot of spirit and we always bring great wine. You know, bocce is crazy here in St. Helena. Yeah. As you say, we've been playing for 20 years here. There's a thousand people that play bocce in St. Helena. How many uh, people live in St. Helena? 5,000. 20% of the population <laughs> plays bocce. We play every night of the week. There's right. usually 16 teams a night that play. Yep. And uh, it's a blast. Yep. And, and so, uh, anyway, enough about bocce yeah. in, uh, in Farmer's Market. Tell us about these wines you have here, Ben. Well, it's Riesling month here uh, at Visatui, and we have four tremendous Rieslings. Uh, we have the Early Harvest Riesling, the Anderson Valley Riesling, our Late Harvest Sticky Riesling, if you will, and on the end we have our uh, California Riesling. The, uh, you know, Riesling man, has been a great tradition at yeah. Visatui. I think our first Riesling that we sold uh, was in from a 78 vintage. It's been one of our longest standing uh, white wines uh, that we've had at the winery. We started really just with two, the dry, and then the off dry that we now call our white Riesling. Yeah. But you know, a lot of people consider white Riesling or Johannesburg Riesling. Most people refer to it now as white Riesling or Riesling. You know, its roots go back to the Rheingau in Germany, uh, you know, back to the 15th century. Wow. You know, wow. a lot of people will argue that this is the most noble mm -hmm. of white varieties. And, uh, and as many of you know that have been buying and, and enjoying our Rieslings for decades, you know, they're just wonderful wines. Sure. And, and sure. they pair well with so many different foods. Uh, well, let's try one. I mean, Absolutely. You know, it's 9 o'clock in the morning, so <laughs> let's, let's get let's going give it a here. shot. This is my favorite, the Early Harvest Riesling. Not too sweet. We get some nice blossom and citrus on the nose, some peach. It's really a great wine. It goes wonderfully with Thai food, Indian food, any type of spicy food. The sweetness just kind of cuts right through the spice. Guess because it's in the morning, you're not pouring me much. Is that <laughs> right, <acid? laughs> exactly. I'm saving the rest for me. The uh, uh, and, and I tell you this uh, this early harvest and you know we've said for years it was the dry riesling it still is the dry it's 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 about six tenths of one percent residual mm -hmm. sugar mm -hmm. uh, fairly dry um, and it's we pick the grapes a little earlier in the season than our other rieslings and so they have less sugars in them right. and then when we ferment it we just ferment it dry sure and uh, boy you were you were saying about kind of peach mm. or pear blossom yeah. in there. Really flowery. Oh, it's just it's a great uh, fruit on the top. Absolutely. Absolutely. And you know what's neat about Riesling, and you know, a lot of people, you know, I think give Riesling, some people give Riesling a hard time uh -huh. be because it, it can be a little sweet and certainly yeah. like our off dry or sure. even this really sticky, sticky wine we call it. We'll yeah. talk about that in a yeah. minute. You know, because they are a little bit fruity, some yep. of these styles. But what makes Riesling great is that it has a crisp acidity. And in winemaking, it's all about the balance. Yes. And, uh, you know, so I think for decades, Riesling got, you know, just blasted by things like leaf vermelch and, you know, these really just uh, out of whack wines yep. that just were just, just pure sugar, yep. no acid. These wines have backbone, they're crisp. And so like every time you take a sip, you get that, you taste that little sweetness on the tip of the tongue. But then it finishes with that, that, yeah. that nice uh, crisp acidity. Yeah. So as you're enjoying this with food, 
it kind of refreshes the palate. Yeah. And acid, like especially with this dry Riesling or early harvest here, it just refreshes it. So yeah, you get that little sweet up front, mm -hmm. but then it's dry in the back. And, 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 and when you smell it, you think, Oh, boy, this might be kind of fruity, but right. then when you drink it, it's yeah. actually dry. Yeah. And I think that's really so cool. Um, so what's your pick? Well, you know, I wanted us to try this. This is really, you know, this is what we have traditionally called our off-dry uh -huh. Riesling. We're now calling it just our white Riesling. This all comes from our Carneros Vineyards down in the, in the lower end of the Napa Valley. I'll right. pour you a little bit okay. bigger slug here. Oh, great. Right. And you know, let me just drop yes. a little bit of this here. Thanks. Uh, Finished with a little bit more sweetness, uh, but to me, really captures that Riesling yeah, essence. You know, does. as you get a little drier, you don't quite get as much fruit. So see if you get a little bit more nose. Yeah, you know, to me, that, that really the floweriness, that almost jasmine yeah. you know, that we have grown around the uh, the veranda of the winery. Yep. I pick a yep. little bit of that flower jasmine. Yep. Up. Now this is. Uh, 2.0%. Yeah, about 2% residual. Yeah. And what I like about this, this starts to pick up a little bit of that petrol quality. Mm -hmm. And or some people call it diesel. And, and, right. and I'm afraid to even say that because some of you watching this go, why don't we want to have a wine <laughs> that has diesel smell? But in Riesling, that, that is really something that only appears in the highest quality of wine. Sure. sure. Wow, what do you think of that mm. flavor? That flavor is great. It's just about the smoothest Riesling I've ever had as well. Mm. Yeah, it has a richness. You get yeah. a little bit of that, I guess, stone fruits maybe, yeah. you know, kind of a little hint of apricot, apricot yeah. but just a slightly, but again, lots of richness. And I know a lot of you, I mean, today, you know, going to Thai restaurants, going mm -hmm. to Indian restaurants, um, you know, when you go to those, what, what kind of wines do you drink? Yeah. You know, maybe you have a beer, but you know, if you're going to have wine, yeah, these are the kind of wines you want. Absolutely. You know, or any of your, you know, stir fries. I mean, they're just refreshing. Mm -hmm. um, and and of course, wines pair so well with the cheeses, and Absolutely. that's something that we do a lot. So. I really like this. Well, and then just to, we talked a little bit about the sticky wine, and some of you might want to know why we call this sticky. This is really our very first late harvest Riesling. Um, same vineyards that these Rieslings come from, with the exception of the Anderson Valley. You know, this comes from our Boonville vineyards. And, and maybe before I just talk about this, site is real specific to Riesling. Mm -hmm. All these are, are cool climate mm -hmm. sites. So we're both the early harvest and our regular white Riesling come from our vineyards in the Carneros, which is the coolest part of the Napa Valley. And then this sticky wine comes uh, from the same vineyards, but we harvest yeah. very late in the season. So this comes off in, uh, in November, right? All the, um, the sugars are, are concentrated, all the moisture goes away, and you get this really intense kind of uh, uh, dried apricot, real intense character mm -hmm. to it. Uh, really super sweet, really rich. Wow. This is the one I think you really get the um, that apricot flavor sure. from. Um, so um, a great wine for us. Well, what's the deal here, well, Ben? And we got all these rieslings here. We are having We're a good. great time this morning. <laughs> Um, are we going to offer a deal? Yeah, on we're going to go a little little nuts here at Riesling Month here at Bisatui. All these Rieslings you can mix and match by the case at 25% off. So it's the perfect month. It's a warm weather month. This is a warm weather wine. Uh, so that's the deal. 25% off. Thanks for watching, Ben. It's great being out here. Yes. Cheers. Salute. Salute. Salute.